Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to crochet this snowman plushie. For this project you will need Bernat blanket yarn, the main color being white. You won't need any more than a skein of it, black for his top hat, orange for his nose, and green or whatever color you want his scarf to be. You'll also need some 16 millimeter safety eyes. The ones I have have a little glitter on the eyes. I will link the ones I have down below. Also, you'll need some polyfill, a tapestry needle, scissors, and we will be using a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Starting with white and using our 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, we are going to start with a magic ring. Chain up one and make eight single crochets into the ring. We will be making the snowman from the bottom up. So right now we are working on the body. Once you have your eight stitches in the ring, go ahead and pull that tail in tight. Be gentle while doing this because this blanket yard can be a little delicate. So now we are going to join to the first stitch in the round chain one and we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around the stitches can be a little difficult to see so if you need to go ahead and just feel for the stitches Again, we are doing two stitches around. So after this round, we will have 16 single crochets around for round two. Once round two is complete, join to the first stitch of the round. If you need to, you can also use stitch markers to mark that first stitch of each round. So there's round two complete, chain one. For round three, we are going to alternate one single crochet and then two single crochets. So in that very first stitch here, we are going to make one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets. And we're gonna repeat. So the next one, one single crochet, and then in the next two single crochets. So go ahead and alternate all the way around. And at the end of the round, we will have 24 stitches. Here I am at the end of round three. I'm gonna join to the very first stitch. And for round four, it's gonna be our last increase round. So chain up one. In the very first stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, another single crochet. And then in the next, two single crochets. So the pattern we're following for this round is single crochet, single crochet, two single crochets. Single crochet, single crochet two single crochets. So go ahead and follow that pattern all the way around for round four. Round four should have 32 stitches joined to the first stitch in the round. And now for rounds five through 10, we are just going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that's going to be six rows total of just single crochet, one in each stitch all the way around. And this is going to build some height for the body. So go ahead and do rounds five through 10, a total of six rounds, just one single crochet in each stitch around, join to that first stitch, chain one, and then keep going. Here I just completed round 10. 
and this is what it should be looking like. And now we're going to start decreasing to finish up the body. So chain up one, and then for round 11, we are going to make a single crochet in the first stitch, a single crochet in the second, and then we are going to decrease. And I'm gonna make an invisible decrease, so we're just going to work in the front loops of the stitches. So insert your hook into the front loop only of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the front loop only of the second stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is one invisible decrease. And we're just going to follow that pattern around for round 11. So single crochet, single crochet, and then decrease. Again, insert your hook just into the front loop only, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, front loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Again, single crochet, single crochet, and then decrease. So we're gonna follow that all the way around. In our last round, we had 32 stitches. Um, in this round with the decreases, we will have 24 stitches. So here I am at the end of round 11, and I'm gonna join to the first stitch of the round, chain one, and then in round 12, we're gonna do single crochet and then decrease. And that's the pattern we will follow around. So the very first stitch, single crochet, and then over the next two stitches, a decrease. And then a single crochet, and a decrease. And in round 12, we will end up with 16 stitches. So go ahead and follow that pattern all the way around, one single crochet, and then a decrease. I just finished round 12. I'm gonna join to my very first stitch, chain one, and we're almost done decreasing the body. So in this round 13, we are just going to decrease all the way around. And then after this round, we are going to start stuffing the body. So over the first two stitches, we're gonna decrease, and we're just gonna decrease all the way around, and that will leave us with eight stitches. So go ahead and finish up round 13, and then get your polyfill ready because we will be stuffing after this round. Here I am at the end of round 13, and before I join, I'm just gonna start stuffing the body with some polyfill. So I like to fluff mine up a little bit before I stuff it. I'm just ensuring there's no big clumps or lumps in it so I can stuff it more evenly. So I'm just gonna kind of rip it apart a little bit. And then I will just start to stuff and basically just stuff enough um, for it to keep a spherical shape. So I'm almost done stuffing, but I'm gonna stuff just a little bit more because I could tell it needs a little bit um, up top here. And after time goes on, stuffing does start to settle. So I do like to overstuff it just a bit. So when the settling happens, then there aren't any um, like unstuffed parts. So I'm just gonna shape it and make sure there's no obvious um, places where there's no stuffing. And if there are, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more in. So now I am going to 
go ahead and join that last round. And now we are going to start on the head. This is all one piece. So we are going to start increasing to basically make another um, spherical shape for the head. So I chained up one and we are just going to make two single crochets in each stitch around. And that will give us 16 stitches for round 14. So go ahead and make two single crochets in each stitch for round 14. Here I am at the end, I'm going to join to my first stitch, chain one, and in this next round we're going to do the same thing. We are going to make two single crochets in each stitch around. And then this round 15 you will have 32 stitches at the end of the round. At the end of row 15 go ahead and join to the first stitch in the round. This last round uh, will be a bit wobbly um, and frilly and that's okay. That's normal for right now but it will straighten out once we add more rows. So for rows 16 through 21 we are just going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and that's a total of six rows. So just like we did down here for the body we are just going to make one single crochet in each stitch around rows 16 through 21 and each round will have 32 stitches. I just finished round 21. This is what our snowman is looking like. The body is complete and our head is halfway complete. So I went ahead and I already joined to the first stitch in the round. I'm going to chain one and we are going to start decreasing to finish up the head. We will embellish um, the face, but we're going to do two rows first. For round 22, we will do single crochet, single crochet, and then a decrease. So in the first stitch, a single crochet, second stitch, a single crochet, and then over the next two stitches, a decrease and again we are doing the front loops only so that is called an invisible decrease which kind of just makes it invisible and has a cleaner look to it so again single crochet single crochet and then decrease once we finish round 22 we should have 24 stitches the end of round 22 join to your first stitch chain one and then in row 23 we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around so this isn't going to be a decrease round we're just making one single crochet in each stitch around just finished round 23 I went ahead and joined to the first stitch now we are going to embellish the face so um, I'm going to leave the seam in the back, so I'm going to turn it around to work on the face. And first I'm going to place some safety eyes in. I am using 16 millimeter glitter safety eyes. I'm going to link this kit where I got it down below. Um, there's warnings on it. It's not for children under three years of age. Um, so obviously take precaution be careful when you are using these um, and even when you're gifting them selling them whatever you're doing with these snowmen i'm going to use uh the blue glittery eyes and the glitter part is just um like these little material things that slide on the back so i'm going to use blue and this kit has other colors there's green yellow um red or pink it's like a reddish pink and like this coppery brown color so i'll link those below again they're the 16 millimeter and then of course you need the backings to go along with it and it does come with the kit it just doesn't 
um, have a spot in the plastic container. So you can place the eyes however you'd like. I place them between rows 20 and 21. So this last row we had was 23, here's 22, here's 21. So then between 20 and 21, I'm gonna place my first one. And then I placed them about three stitches apart. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plastic washers on. So when you hear them click, that's when you know they are on. So I did two clicks. These are surprisingly easy to get on. And I've also seen people melt the back of this black part um, and squash it down. So this plastic washer doesn't accidentally um, come off eventually. So there are the eyes. And then I'm going to take some orange yarn. I'm gonna use a tapestry needle. So this is Bernat Blanket as well. We're only using it for the nose, so it's a very small amount. Um, if you don't have it on hand, or if you don't wanna buy a whole skein just for the nose, you can probably just use worsted weight yarn. So I sewed my nose on between rows 18 and 19. So these are 21 and 20. 18 and 19. So right here, I'm gonna kind of just make it in between the eyes, about two stitches apart, and I'm gonna go through twice. So if you're using a different weighted yarn, you might just need to go over it a couple times to get the thickness. So it's just gonna look like that. I'm gonna tie it in the back here or on the inside. And then I'm just going to put everything inside because I'm gonna stuff it anyway. So if you want to, you can start stuffing, but I'm going to go all the way up into the last row and then stuff my head. So we have just two rows left. We are on row 24. And in this row, we are going to make a single crochet and then decrease. So single crochet in the first stitch and then decrease. And follow that pot pattern all the way around and we will end up with 16 stitches. Again, one single crochet and then decrease. Here I am at the end of round 24, join chain one and this is our last round of the head and we're just going to decrease all the way around and then once we get to the end we will have just eight stitches and this is the last round of the snowman once i'm at the end i'm going to stuff before i join it just gives me a little more room so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the head just like I did uh, for the body. Once that is stuffed completely, I am going to join. to that first stitch. and then I'm gonna fasten off. And I'm gonna leave a tail because I need to sew the remaining hole closed. So I have to sew that closed. I'm gonna thread my tapestry needle. And to sew this closed, I'm just going to go through the front loops only. So I'm just gonna take my needle and go through all the front loops all the way around. And then once I get to the beginning, I'm just gonna pull it close. I'm gonna be gentle because uh, this blanket yarn can be a little delicate. 
and snap. So there I closed it up. Now I'm just going to make a knot and bring that yarn in and out and then trim it. Reshape the head. And our snowman is now finished. So next we are going to work on the scarf and then the hat. I'm going to use red for the scarf for the sample um, since my other one is green. This specific color is called Misty Jungle Green and it's the Bernat Baby Blanket. So if you're looking for this color, that's what it's called. But for my second sample, I'm going to use red. Same hook size, 6.5 millimeter. And I'm just going to chain 30. Once I have 30, I'm going to make a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then in each chain across. So we're just doing a row of half double crochets for the scarf. Once you're at the end, go ahead and just fasten off and we're just going to weave in those ends with a tapestry needle. And once you have your scarf, just take your snowman and fold it in half around his neck. I have it pretty snug around there and then I make sure it's even at the tails and then I'm just going to pull it through back here between two stitches so it's kind of like a keyhole scarf and there's his scarf next we are going to work on the hat for the top hat, you want to use black like I did here, but for video tutorial purposes, I will be using just the white yarn because this black is impossible to see on camera. So we are going to start with a magic ring, same hook size, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So magic ring, chain one and we are going to make 10 single crochets into the ring. Once you have 10, go ahead and join to the very first stitch. And I'm gonna take that tail end and just pull it tight. This is gonna be the very top of the hat chain one and then we're going to single crochet just in the back loop only of these stitches so it's a little hard to see but just grab the back loop of each stitch and you should only have 10 stitches around So once you did your 10 stitches, it's gonna kinda look like this. So we're gonna wanna pop it the other way and join to the first stitch. And you will see it starting to take shape. So that first row is just like the very top of the hat and then our next row is um, coming down so it's going to be the side of the hat and we're going to give it a little bit of height so chain one and just make one single crochet all the way around just a regular single crochet and we're going to do this for rounds three through five so for three rounds we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around And then when you get to the beginning, join, chain one, and you will have 10 stitches in each of these rounds. 
So I'm on round four. And then I'll do one more and I will meet you back when I'm done with round five. So here is what it's looking like. You can see it has some height to it. And now we're just going to do the brim. We have one more row to go. So I already joined to uh, the first stitch in the round for round five. I'm going to chain one. And in this row, we're going to be working in the front loops only. And the very first stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet in the front loop only. In the next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets in the front loop only. And we're going to continue that pattern. So the next stitch, one half double crochet in the front loop only. And then two half double crochets in the front loop only. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around for round six. Once you're at the end, go ahead and join to the very first stitch. Fasten off, leave a tail. I didn't leave much of a tail, but I'm not sewing this onto anything. Um, and then flip it out and then you have your little top hat. So you want to sew this on the top of the snowman. I put mine on the side a little bit. You can put it centered if you want. For my first sample, I actually just hot glued it down um, right onto the head. I'm not gifting this, I'm not selling this, um, and I'm okay with it just being glued on. If you want to make sure it's very secure, I suggest sewing it on with a tapestry needle. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed making the snowman. I hope you learned something new today. And if you enjoy crochet tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel.